Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be previewing the week one matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions as the NFL is back and it kicks off tonight, Thursday night at 7 20. The Detroit Lions face the Kansas City Chiefs. You'll get to see the Kansas City Chiefs celebrate their 2022 Super Bowl win against the Philadelphia Eagles as they will un unveil the banner for the championship and I don't I think they already got their ring so I don't know what else they will do tonight to celebrate the Super Bowl but I do know they're going to they're going to unveil the banner um and they're probably going to do something else for for this cha for the championship win against the Philadelphia Eagles. It's going to be a fun night. Not only football back but the Chiefs get to celebrate their Super Bowl win against the Philadelphia Eagles um and the Detroit Lions. I mean I you know I feel here's how I feel about this game. You know, if Kelsey plays I think for the Chiefs this might be a blowout, but I don't know about a blowout. But I think this the this game is in favor of the Chiefs. But um, if if um, Kelsey doesn't play, I would think the Lions have to be the favorites to win this game. I mean, look at Mahomes and look who he would be throwing the ball to if if Travis Kelsey is out. And I and not I don't want Kelsey to you know not play. I have Travis Kelsey in fantasy. I want Travis Kelsey to play. Well, we got to you know, look at the uh, well, what could happen. There is a decent chance Travis Kelsey might not play. The Chiefs just elevated tight end Matt Bushman from the practice squad for tonight's game against the Lions uh, insurance in case Travis Kelsey uh, doesn't play. So they're already planning that there is a chance Travis Kelsey does not play tonight. So uh, look at some of the new faces that Mahomes has in this offense not named Travis Kelsey at, if, if Kelsey's not playing. Obviously, he played with Kadarius Tony at the end of the season last year, played with Marquez Vald Valdez-Scantley uh, and Justin Watson. Sky Moore he played with, but, I mean, I don't know if he's that familiar with him just because, you know, he only he didn't play him that much last year, only had 22 receptions. But, yeah, I guess you can say he played with Sky Moore, um, which he did. Um, Richie James Jr., New face, Rasheed Rice, new face, same thing for Justin Ross. Uh, those are some of the other guys that are uh, in this wide receiver group. So not only does Mahomes have, you know, a new wide receiver group and, you know, Juju Smith-Schuster's gone, but not only all that right there, but also you got the, the fact that, uh, also you got the fact that there's a new offensive coordinator Kansas City Chief, for the Kansas City Chiefs as well. Obviously, Andrew Reid will be calling the plays just like it was before, but Eric Bieniemy is gone. Maybe that could be a new, another factor for Patrick Mahomes in this game as well. Um, but I think Patrick Mahomes is still going to do Patrick Mahomes things, either if, whether Travis Kelsey and whether Kelsey plays or not. I think Mahomes is still going to have a great game. But, it, you know, and I'm not saying that it's going to be trouble for Mahomes and his new wide receivers the whole season, but it could be some trouble with this with Mahomes and, and this new wide receiver group just to start out the season um, and getting some chemistry. Obviously, he probably has chemistry with some of the guys that were on this wide receiver group last year with Kadarius Tony, Marquez Valdez, Scantley, and Justin Watson, and Sky Moore, who barely played last year in his rookie season. Those four guys, but the new guys, Justin Ross, Rasheed Rice, and Richie James Jr. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I think if, if I'm the Chiefs, if you want to lock up a win, you need Travis Kelsey to play. I'd also like Travis Kelsey to play because I I own him in fantasy, so would really appreciate if Kelsey plays. But also, you got to think about the long-term future. I mean, as a, fantasy owner, sir, as a fantasy owner of Kelsey, I'll also say, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, not have him in week one and then and then and then maybe if you play him week one and he gets injured again you could lose him for a long time so uh maybe if it's the best you don't play him week one i don't think it would hurt i think you could still probably get a win without him might be a little bit harder to get the win against the lions without travis kelsey but i still think you can get the win without travis kelsey is it is it is it worth it to root to risk Travis Kelsey getting hurt again and this injury being worse and causing a huge setback. I don't know. Um, so uh, is Travis Kelsey going to play? We'll see. It's going to be a game time decision. Let's go over the injuries for both squads, though. All right. I mean, the Chiefs don't have that many injuries in this in this game. Besides Kelsey, who's questionable, they only have two other injuries, and it's tight end Jody Jody Fortson, who's on IR reserved. He's a tight end. 
And then safety, Nazi Johnson, who's on IR reserved as well. The Lions do have a couple injuries. Two of them are quarterbacks, though. Um, and here are the Lions injuries. Two of them are quarterbacks um, and two of them are defenders. So linebacker Julian Akawara is undeclosed. He's on IR, injured reserve, expect to return week five. Emmanuel Mosley, defensive back, is out with a knee injury, recovering from the ACL injury. He's out for week one and is expected to return week two. And then quarter, both quarterbacks, Nate Sun- Sedfeld and H- Hendon Hooker, who they drafted in the in, in the NFL draft last year, or yeah, last year, are both out in this game. Nate Sunfeld is on IR reserve. He tore his ACL in the final preseason game, and Hendon Hooker is recovering from a knee ACL injury that he uh, that he suffered at Tennessee when he played there at college, and we don't know when he's going to return. So those are the injuries in this ball game. Um, and there will probably, you know, be some inactives that pop up before the game starts, and we'll see who those players are. But um, as of the, I'm gonna get into my predictions now. As of my predictions, and I have two predictions, and I have a prediction for if Travis Kelsey plays, and I have a prediction for if Travis Kelsey doesn't play. So here is my prediction: if Travis Kelsey plays, I have the Kansas City Chiefs winning this ball game, 28 to 24, and getting off the season 1-0 and having a good win in a close game against the Detroit Lions. Now, as of if Travis Kelsey doesn't play, Chiefs fans might want to close your ears on this one. If Travis Kelsey doesn't play, I have the Chiefs losing this one 24-20, you know, because if Travis Kelsey doesn't play, Mahomes is with, you know, a new wide receiver group, and, you know, that might be a little difficult, even if it might be a little bit difficult to get some, you know, some good chemistry with his new wide receiver group, even even if Kelsey plays or not. It just if Kelsey plays, it's it's another option that Mahomes is is very comfortable with. Um, but here's how I feel: not only Mahomes dealing with you know dealing with you know the with the new wide receiver group. If Kelsey is out, C.J. Gardner Johnson, who they picked up, who the Lions picked up from the who the Lions signed from the Eagles, would be if Kelsey plays, he'll be guarding Travis Kelsey. So C.J. Gardner Johnson, if if Kelsey's out, C.J. Gardner Johnson will most likely be defending the Chiefs wide receiver one, and it, whether that's Marcus Valdez Scantley or it's Kadarius Tony. Either one of those guys is going to be having to deal with C.J. Gardner-Johnson, an unbelievable cornerback. So that's going to be a tough challenge for whoever has to who whoever has to face off against C.J. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, whether it's Kadarius Tony or whether it's you know Marcus Val- Valdez Scantley, maybe what maybe it's Sky Moore. Whoever has to face off against that guy is going to have a lot of trouble, and I think. I really do think that T.J. Gardner-Johnson, if Kelsey doesn't play, will have himself an amazing Week 1 performance for the Detroit Lions in his Lions debut. As of forgetting for some predictions for the Lions side, I think Jamar Gibbs, uh, the rookie running back that they selected 12th overall, is going to have an amazing debut. I think he'll get over 70 rushing yards and maybe even a touchdown as well. Maybe even some you know, some good numbers uh, with receptions as well. Um, you know, Jared Goff and and the Lions, I think are going to go to the running game a lot in this game to David Montgomery and Jamar Gibbs. You know, you have a Monroe St. Brown, but Jamison Williams is also out because he is suspended. So, you know, who does Jared Goff have to throw to besides the Monroe St. Brown? The number two wide receivers, Marvin Jones Jr., really solid option who they signed back from Jacksonville. He returned to the Lions. Um, but I think the Lions could go key to this running game today, especially with the Chiefs missing Chris Jones, who uh, is dealing with you know contract holdouts with the Chiefs right now. So with Chris Jones out and out of that uh, out of that defensive line for the Chiefs, the Lions could abuse the run game with Jamar Gibbs and David Montgomery. But I still think Jared Goff will have a good game in the air, and I think the Lions' offense will be efficient. And this Chiefs defense might struggle a little bit against rookie Jamar Gibbs and veteran David Montgomery without their star, Chris Jones. And as of for Mahomes, I think Mahomes will have a really good game. Like I said, I just think it might take a minute to get, you know, to get a little bit adjusted to this new offense. Eric Biemi has gone. Juju Smith-Schuster has gone. Some new faces are in. So 
that might take a minute for Patrick Mahomes and some of these other wide receivers. You know, look at I know I know this is a different circumstance, but look at you know how Aaron Rodgers was to start the season with his new wide receiver group. I think I, I think it's a different scenario. Mahomes is a lot younger than Aaron Rodgers is, but you saw how last year Aaron Rodgers struggled with a new wide receiver group and his offensive coordinator being gone. I mean, you know, their offensive coordinator. Um, who I can't remember his I can't remember his name. Who got hired by the Broncos? Um, he left. So Rodgers was had a new wide receiver group, and he had new new names in the wide receiver group, um, and and names from the year before out uh, out from the team. And then not only that, but a new offensive coordinator. It was a little bit difficult for Aaron Rodgers to start the season. Now, only difference is Patrick Mahomes is a lot younger than Aaron Rodgers is, so it might be different. And honestly, Mahomes is way better than than Rodgers is, so it could be a whole different scenario. But here's how I feel. Uh, it, it could take Mahomes a game or two to get adjusted to this new offense, new offensive coordinator, even though Andy Reid will still be calling the plays, which it was last year, and names out of the offense and names coming into the offense. So we'll see how it goes for the Chiefs tonight. Uh, if the Lions, if, the, if if Kelsey plays, I think the Chiefs win this one 28 to 24. If, and then if uh, Kelsey doesn't play, I think the Chiefs lose this one 24 to 20. Give me your predictions for week one. I'm excited for the NFL to kick off tonight and start this 2023 season. Give me your predictions for this game and the rest of week one and peace out.